Hi everyone, so in this uh, Shopify tutorial, we're gonna learn about this. Okay everyone, so in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how you can add Google Analytics to your Shopify store in 2020, all right? So we're gonna add Google Analytics to this uh, Shopify store. We're gonna learn how you can create a Google account, how to generate the code that we need for your Shopify store. And we're gonna add that to your Shopify store in the back end. All right, so to do this, we're first gonna go to the back end of your Shopify store, all right? We're gonna go and click on online store in your left sidebar. We're gonna go down to this one, preferences. Click on that. Okay, go down until you see this one, Google Analytics. So Google Analytics enables you to track the visitors to your store and generate reports that will help you with your marketing, all right? If you like, you can learn more right here. So what we need to do is we need to paste your code, so the code from your Google Analytics account. So if you don't have the code or an account, we're gonna create that right now. Otherwise, if you already have the code, you can paste it right here and you can click on save right here, okay? But if you don't have the Google account, we're gonna fix it right now. So open up a new browser. In Google, we're gonna search for Google Analytics, okay? And we're gonna choose this one, analytics.google.com, okay? Click on that. All right, so if you don't have a Google Analytics account, we're gonna click on start measuring. Okay, so we have this one, create account, account setup. So now we're gonna name our account. So account name required. Accounts can contain more than one tracking ID. Okay, so just give your account a name. Okay, so I'm just gonna name this Shopify Tutorials. You can name it to whatever you like, okay? Then we have this account data sharing settings. So I'm just gonna leave this as it is. Then we're gonna click on next. Okay, so what do you want to measure? We have web, measure your website. So because we have a Shopify store, we're gonna choose this one, web. Click on that. Go down and click on next. So now you can add your website name. Okay, now we can add a website URL. Just go to your website, copy this URL in the browser, go back to Google Analytics and paste it right here, okay? And as you can see, we already have this HTTP colon slash slash. In our case, we have HTTPS colon slash slash. So we need to change it right here to the right one and just delete the text right here, like so. Then we can add a industry category. So just select your category. So you can search for a category or just choose one from the list right here. So I'm gonna choose this one, beauty and fitness. And add your reporting time zone. So I'm gonna choose Sweden, and after that just click on create. And now we need to read the Google Analytics terms of service. Choose your uh, country. I'm gonna choose Sweden. You're gonna choose your own country. Okay, so just read the agreement. After that, if you agree, just click on this one. I also accept the data processing terms as required by GDPR, okay? You also need to accept these uh, terms, 
After that, if you accept, click on this one, I accept. And after that, we're gonna go to this one and click on I accept, like so. And now you can set up my emails communication if you want to have emails sent with updates to your inbox, okay? I'm gonna leave it as it is and click on save. Okay, so now we can uh, go and copy this code. So this is the code we need for our Shopify store. Copy, like so. Go back to the Shopify store and paste it right here. Okay, go down and click on save. Okay, so everything is saved. We now have the Google Analytics account connected. All right, so now we can go to Analytics. Okay, so now we can go to this one, the home icon. So just click on that. And as you can see, we got this Google Analytics home and we want to choose this one real time click on that and just click on overview okay so now we see right now we have zero active users on site so we just want to check if uh, your code is working and it's correctly connected to your shopify store so to do this just go to your store update the browser like so Go back to Google Analytics, and as you can see, we have one active user on site. That means everything works. We can now see your visitors live. And of course, we can also see tons of other analytics when your visitors visit your Shopify store. And we also have one more thing that we can add. We can add enhanced e-commerce option. So if you go back to the back end of your Shopify store. Okay, so you also see that you have this one. Use enhanced e-commerce. So the basic one without this one means that you got basic e-commerce tracking if you just want transaction and revenue data. All right. If you only want that, you don't need to check this one. But with this one, you got enhanced e-commerce tracking if you want additional information about visitor behavior, all right? So to use this one, we need to check this box. You can also go and learn more anytime right here, okay? So check this box. After that, we're gonna go to Google Analytics, all right? We're gonna go down in the left sidebar and click on admin like so all right now go to this one view okay go down until you see this one e-commerce settings click on that all right so here we got e-commerce setup enable e-commerce use the e-commerce developer reference guide to properly set up tracking code for your site, okay? So to enable this enhanced e-commerce tracking, we need to turn this on, like so. And we can also turn on this one, enable enhanced e-commerce reporting. Okay, so then we got this checkout labeling. So Shopify doesn't support this, so we're gonna leave this as it is. They support goals and funnels. I'm gonna show you where you can find the information about that. But for now, just click on this one, save. All right, so everything is set up. Okay, and to find the analytics for the e-commerce, we're gonna go and click on this home icon. We're gonna go down to conversions and click on this one, e-commerce, and click on overview. All right, okay, so here you can find the analytics for your enhanced e-commerce, 
all right and you also got this product performance sales performance and transactions and time to purchase and things like that okay so just uh, learn more about this to find how your visitors behave on your Shopify store okay so let's go to the back end of your Shopify store all right so to find information about goals and funnels just click next to use enhanced e-commerce click on learn more all right so in the left uh, sidebar right here under analytics and under Google Analytics we see this one goals and funnels so here you can find information how to set up goals and funnels to track conversions and things like that okay okay everyone so this is how you can add Google Analytics to your Shopify store in 2020 how to create a Google Analytics account and how to create the property so you get the right code which you can add to your Shopify store. So I hope this helped. Okay everyone, so I hope this video helped you out. If you like this one and want more of these videos, you can subscribe right here in the corner. You can also check out my latest video right here. Just click on this image and I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Take care and bye.